Chelsea, the day is over for me, but it's not over for you. What? You're gonna get on that. <gasps> All right, I'll see you girls later, bye. Love you. And they were never heard of again. <laughs> We are here at King's Dominion in Virginia. This is my first time at King's Dominion. As you can tell, I am so excited. There's going to be barbecue. There's going to be turkey wings. There's cocktails. There's beer. There's a brand new roller coaster and a beer themed after it. We're going to try it all. This is Iconic Eat. wristband for her. I just want to make sure that she... They don't have magenta wristbands because that means you can ride everything. Ha! Huh. Would you get on that? No, ma'am. <laughs> Look how high up it goes! Uh, oh, it's gonna flip over! That freaks me out. I'm gonna hold the camera no. while you get on. Oh! Wait, 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 wait! Look! You see her hair? You see... Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word! Is it over? Please be over, oh no, oh no, they're going all the way! Woo! I get adrenaline just watching it, but please don't ever put me on that. <laughs> We just came from Border Burritos and this is the Southwestern Taco Salad. It comes in a taco shell bowl. It's super crispy. I can't wait to dig in. We got ours with steak, but you can also get it with chicken or you can get it vegetarian. It also comes with house-made chips. I want you guys to hear how crispy this is. Oh. <laughs> the shell is really crispy. But obviously the star is the taco bowl, so let's try that. I got me a little piece of steak, of course a jalapeno, minimal uh, lettuce. We eat in a salad, but we don't really want a salad. We just want the meat and the toppings. <laughs> it's on a bed of lettuce. It's covered in steak and like a Southwestern mayo, like a Chipotle mayo. But the steak really stands out. Like the flavors that they put on it are really bright and like spicy. Not spicy to the fact that like it's a five alarm fire, but like just flavorful. You can taste the cumin. There's probably smoked paprika in it. So this is a really good first item of the day, but you know what goes even better with a taco salad? A margarita. So I want to get the margarita in the souvenir cup. Oh, but you also have sangria. Can I get sangria too? Only if I can drink it. Oh, we're going to share. Let me get the sangria as well. All right. And we have flavor. Oh, wait, there's options. There's more options. Wait, I'm getting excited. Okay, for my margarita, I can either get mango or strawberry. Or both. Or can I get both? Can we do a swirl? Yes. All right, and for the sangria, we have watermelon or strawberry. Oh. There's too many choices. Okay, so we'll, do, we'll be a purist for the sangria and we'll just get watermelon. And then for the margarita, give me strawberry and mango. All right. <laughs> the mango strawberry margarita. I love a good swirl. And this is the watermelon sangria. Why is like the urge to taste them both at the same? That's not helpful, okay. So <laughs> let me taste this one first. So this is the margarita. It was tequila forward. I'm just getting like a really big lime flavor. I wonder why I taste so much lime. I don't necessarily taste Mango. Here, let me hold this, and then I want you to point your straw into the section that you need to drink. Okay, that's definitely strawberry. He kind of like mixed them around really good. I actually think the mango flavor is what tastes like lime to me. It's good. You get like a little bit of mango. You definitely get the strawberry and a whole lot of tequila. It's a light watermelon flavor. So you know how like you can get something that tastes like watermelon and it's like super strong, kind of like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. This is just like a 
how light watermelon might have flew by the sangria. Kissed it a little. Blessed it. Which one would I like? I think you would like uh, try the margarita. I think you would like this one. Oh, you weren't kidding about the tequila. It is liquor forward. You know what I'm gonna say already if you watch the show religiously. We get a free souvenir cup. So like not only are these icy and like full of liquor and delicious, but you get a, a souvenir to take home with you and then, you know, refill it with the drink of your choice. Oh, this place looks like an old school soda shop. I am going to get the giant cookie witch. Um, ooh, there's so many flavors. Wait, you have one called Play-Doh? Let me get Play-Doh. They were not playing when they said giant. This is nine ounces of cookies, six ounces of ice cream, almost a full pound. First off, Play-Doh ice cream. Hello, new friend. I really like this flavor. The cookie is fresh and it's like doughy in the middle. So you get like that raw cookie dough flavor and it's crunchy on the outside too. So like the pieces in the middle are more soft than the pieces on the outside are crunchy. So you're getting like a big textural adventure. What does Play-Doh taste like? So it doesn't smell like Play-Doh. It smells like a fresh baked cookie. I'm getting more cookie flavor than anything. I think Play-Doh is just like sweet vanilla ice cream with like some fun crunchy bits. It tastes more like vanilla than anything, but it's just like really fun. Hello! Can I get popcorn and cotton candy? Oh, Thank candy. you! I don't know, I'm just like so happy. <laughs> that that's here. There's a band. <laughs> So juicy. That band is still going strong. We have from Grain and Grill the sirloin platter. I'm really excited to try this because there's mac and cheese with it as well, and it's a Swiss mac and cheese. Let's go into the meat first. So there's chimichurri sauce all on top of this, and I love a good chimichurri sauce. It has that herby flavor with the nice vinegar kick. It's cooked to perfection. That chimichurri sauce is so fresh and delicious. It goes perfect with the steak, but now I gotta try this mac and cheese. Oh, look at those noodles. It's the Kavatapi noodles and I love those. Nice and mellow, like Swiss cheese is with that like little bit of bite at the end. There's also non bread and hummus. All the platters are the same price. This is the pork option. We got it with the potatoes this time. Like I said before, they all come with hummus. This has a Korean barbecue sauce on top. Let's dig in. I really like Korean barbecue. It's sweet and smoky like barbecue traditionally is, but the Korean flavors that they add to it gives it like an extra kick. If I had to choose between the steak and the barbecue, I would go with the steak. We're still at Grain and Grill. We had to get some dessert before we left this location. This is the house-made cheesecake. It has strawberry syrup on it, fresh strawberries, and a little bit of whipped cream. I got myself the perfect bite, and y'all know how I love a good cheesecake. It's not overly sweet. It's just really well made, and not a cheesecake you think you would get at a theme park. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the shape of this cheesecake. Like it's not a regular like slice of cheesecake. It is a big 
square of cheesecake. It's so tall, it's so high. I want my cheesecake square shaped from now on. Okay. Also, how big is a cheesecake if it's square shaped? Do they make a sheet? Is there a sheet of cheesecake somewhere in this park? I gotta go find it. <laughs> World's greatest funnel cakes. If you notice, we haven't left International Street because all of the good food options are right when you first cut, get into the park. Now, there's gonna be more food, but there's a lot of different options around here. I am excited to try these fried Oreos. They're fresh, it's hot, and I expect this Oreo to be nice and gooey inside. Something magical happens when you fry anything a twinkie a snickers an oreo let's go ahead and dig in oh my god what did i tell y'all it's gooey and soft i'm having a moment give me a minute <laughs> why is it so heavenly when you fry an oreo like look at the filling on the inside it's so creamy oh my god I'm at a car. You can have one. <laughs> Journey with me. Are we at a carnival right now? There's children in the background. They're having a great time. We're having a great time. And all is well in the world. Like I said earlier, the food isn't over. We're on our way into Old Virginia. They got beer and barbecue, baby. <laughs> so we're here at the parch pig and we have a flight which i always think flights are the best bang for your buck so we have a king's brew ipa we have a cider and we also have a white sangria Ooh. oh oh wait oh all right so you guys know i'm not a beer girl but i really do like this it kind of tastes lemony Beer makes me feel heavy. That's really why I'm not a beer girl. Because like by the time I get through drinking it, I'm like, oh, I would like to go sit down somewhere. But this one's like super light. So I feel like I could like sip on this one all day and not get that heavy feeling that I don't necessarily enjoy. But, oh wait, I'm sorry, beer lady, I didn't give you any. <laughs> that was a solid review. It kind of tastes a little bit like, like a lemonade, but like if lemonade hung out with beer too much. This one looks foamy. What is the proper term it for has this? Head. It has. It got mo head. <laughs> I don't know if they gonna cut that or not. If I thought this one tastes lemony, this one has even more lemon in it. But there's no sweetness. So where like this one tastes lemony to me, and it kind of tastes like like I said lemonade if it hung out with beer too much. This one tastes more like lemon rind. So it's like a bit more bitter, that pure citrus flavor, but with like no sweetness at all. You can take it off my hands, ma'am. We can, can we cheers? I feel like we never get like a woo. woo. <laughs> this is the Buxy Cider. Really cool because it's made with 100% Virginia apples. So I am like getting Virginia in a cup right now. I really like this flavor. I feel like when you have certain ciders, like they're very heavy on the apple flavor. It doesn't taste artificial at all. Our last one is a sunset sangria. Obviously it's a white sangria, so there's peach, there's apple, there's cranberry. Generally like white peach, white cranberry, white sangria is sweeter than your normal like red sangrias. Um, so I'm hoping that this is super sweet because our our um, cider wasn't super sweet like I'm used to. So I haven't had like that sugar punch that I like at the end of my alcohol. <gasps> oh, wait a minute, I stand corrected. Okay, this has been a surprising adventure. This is not super sweet, but it is like lighter than you would think a sangria would taste. So like, I definitely get the apple, I definitely get the cranberry, I get the peach, but there's like no sugary aftertaste, which I feel like a lot of people who don't like sangria because it is too sweet would really enjoy this one. So when you come to King's Dominion and you hang out at the Parched Pig,
get the white sangria. So we just got through with our flight, but one of the other items they have at the Parch Pig is this quick grab and go housemate pork rinds. I do love a good pork rind and these are made right here in the park. Look how crispy they look and you can see that seasoning on it. A little bit of salt to go with my drinks. Wow, that was like ASMR gold. I would like this to play on a loop <laughs> in my brain of just that crunch. So they're not super salty. They're like seasoned the right amount, but the texture and the crunch is so good. Got a little bit of lipstick on it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The sweet and the salty, it's going together. And then just wolf down a whole bunch of pork. Let's go find a vegan option. Lots of mustard. <laughs> we are at Dogwood Grill, and although I am holding a bratwurst in my hand, it is not a dogwood like um, the style of hot dog. It's a type of flower, and this is the flower. So this is what a dogwood looks like, and a, it is the state flower of Virginia. They have a vegan bratwurst, so we're gonna try it. This is a Beyond Bratwurst. I eat these at home all the time. So, I mean, it's the same flavor, but it's always delicious. Um, and they do a really good job of grilling these onions and peppers with just the right amount of seasoning. And then it has my favorite mustard on top of it, spicy brown mustard. This is a really good option. If you're vegan, it's delicious and you know what you're getting. I'm gonna try a fry because you, you can see the seasoning on these fries. They put the good seasoning salt on them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna do a ride, because I'm not doing any coasters, but this is just my speed. So Julia has been driving this entire trip, and now this is my opportunity to drive and maybe get a little bit of payback. <laughs> Our car is blue! Hello! We're going a full six miles an hour! I was like, Ooh. it felt good. Got a little mini massage. Hello. Oh, that looks amazing. Great. Smoked for 18 hours. Oh, wow. Okay, so let me get the brisket. This plate <laughs> looks immaculate. So earlier we tried like the steak and mac and cheese with the pork, but now we're trying brisket. We're inside Old Virginia and I promised you guys we were gonna try barbecue and here it is. It's never too much meat. Oh my God. Are you gonna cry? It is so good. They have barbecue sauce options and I was trying to figure out which barbecue sauce I wanted to put on it. And then I said I couldn't figure it out and I wanted to be a purist and I wanted to try the brisket on its own and it was so worth it. Fell apart in my mouth. The smoky flavor is there. Like when you walk into this restaurant, you can smell that smoker just going off. You literally have some aromatherapy going on. My hair definitely smells like smoke and I'm okay with that. Like I know when I go back home tonight, I'm gonna smell a little, bit, a little bit like this brisket and all the memories are gonna come back. All right, let's dig into this mac and cheese. Oh, uh, so earlier we tried like a Swiss cheese blend mac and cheese. This one is gonna be more of your traditional American mac and cheese. So it's going to have like American cheese, a little bit of cheddar, we have breadcrumbs on top. Ooh, look at that smoke coming off of it. She's fresh and she's hot. Very nostalgic, it goes perfect with the barbecue. We also have a corn muffin, which I love a good homemade corn muffin. Look at that. 
I know I keep saying fresh, but like so far all the items that we've tried have just really been made with like so much love and so much care. Like the fact that this macaroni and cheese is piping hot. I watched someone cut my brisket and my cornbread is still warm in the middle. I'm happy. I'm happy we came here. Can we never leave? <laughs> <laughs> but there's more to eat, including a turkey leg that I'm real excited about. Can I have the seasonal turkey leg? It's a hot honey turkey leg. Oh my God. This is our first turkey leg with me. Wow. We're having I, a moment. We're having a delish first moment. It's so shiny. It looks like it's candy. So this is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Turkey legs are not my favorite. It's just a big hunk of smoked meat. But the hot honey brings a whole new element to it. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. This is my quintessential theme park moment. When I think of a theme park, I think of somebody walking around with the turkey leg and just like gnawing on it as they're enjoying their best life. But I don't like turkey legs, so I've never had this moment. But then they dipped it in hot honey and made it perfect. Why is King's Dominion becoming one of my favorite parks we've visited so far? We're walking out of Old Virginia and on to Candy Apple Grove. Let's go. This is wild. When it drops, you're gonna hear it. No. Did you hear that? Woo! No. I would pass out. I would. Take me out of here in the ambulance. <laughs> Hi, can I have the chicken fried steak? Thank you. Oh, it looks delicious. Behind me is Twisted Timbers, which is a hybrid coaster. A lot of people enjoy this coaster because it is, the entire structure is made of wood, but the like frame that it sits on is made of steel and it is an inverted drop. So it twists you upside down right as you drop. Would you get on it? Not for me, <laughs> not for me. <laughs> but coaster enthusiasts love this part because there's some of like the coolest inventions in coasters right here. I want to get into this chicken fried steak. I got it with mashed potatoes because that's only appropriate. Oh, she looks tasty. First thing I want to say is that. Wait. <laughs> pause for screams. <laughs> the chicken fried steak is delicious. The gravy is nice and peppery. And there was so much crunch, like it is chicken fried hard. They also had an array of veggies too. So if you're like not super into like the heavier mashed potatoes, you can get like green beans or like saute veggies. And you probably wouldn't want to eat all that before it coasted. Oh, Mashed potatoes and chicken fried great I mean, chicken fried steak right before a inverted drop roller coaster. Premium time. <laughs> right on theme, we can't eat our chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes without apple pie covered in cinnamon sugar. It smells heavenly. Oh my god. Look at all of those like little pockets of yumminess. And then it's filled with apples and covered in cinnamon sugar. It's the perfect dessert to end your meal here at Jukebox Diner. We're at the Mac Bowl. It is a gourmet mac and cheese bar and you create your own concoction. So on top of my macaroni and cheese, I got chicken, hot Cheetos, green onions, and it's drizzled in some ranch. It looks delicious. Um, this is like a monster food, like where you're just like, I want all of the things all of the time. So originally we were gonna get like the pulled pork version, but when I saw that there was hot Cheetos, I had to change it up and do the chicken with the hot Cheetos. It is the perfect combination. Also, have you ever dipped hot Cheetos in ranch? No. Oh, grab one then, particularly saucy one. Why is that so good? Right? Right? Whoa! Every mac and cheese we've had today here, it's been completely different. 
This is a different mac and cheese from the one we tried earlier. This is a cavatappi pasta, so it's like more of a spiral noodle, and then it's made with Velveeta, cheddar, and milk. We're still at the Mac Bowl, but now I have a foot-long hot dog. This is an Eisenberg hot dog, which apparently are specific to theme parks. It is a half-pound jumbo hot dog. I got the mac and cheese with bacon and cheddar cheese on top. Super classic for like any theme park. They serve this type of hot dog at like your Disney World, maybe even your Universal. So it's just like an oldie but a goodie. So I have to try it here at King's Dominion. It's juicy, it's full of mac and cheese, bacon, more cheese on top. It's gluttonous, but delicious. <laughs> is a buffalo chicken pizza with Italian parsley and ranch drizzled on top. This is from Victoria's Pizza. It is $15.99 for two slices of pizza plus a breadstick. This is a really good deal that you can share with your family. Ooh! Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. So let me tell you how this is different from a regular buffalo chicken pizza. Generally, buffalo chicken pizza has like the ranch as the sauce or like a white sauce and then they put the chicken and the ranch and the and the uh, buffalo sauce on it. No, this is a regular slice of pizza. So it has the marinara sauce but then it also has the cheese and buffalo tossed chicken with the ranch on top. So you're still getting those like Italian flavors of pizza but buffalo style. Also, you're not supposed to do this, but this is how I do it. Mm. This is a great bang for your buck. You got a hankering for pizza? Head to Victoria's Pizza. Oh, you have a Fruity Pebbles ice cream? I'll take that one. down with some ice cream. This is the Fruity Prep. <laughs> this is the Fruity Pebbles Code. It is a cereal milk ice cream covered in Fruity Pebbles. So you have those fruity tart flavors going on. Cereal is like such a thing right now. So they put, put cereal on top of shakes. They put cereal on top of ice cream. So here at King's Dominion, they're keeping it trendy with this cone. There's more food to try. Oh, wait, the next place is gonna be absolutely amazing. It's a whole new adventure. All right, we are headed to Jungle Expedition. This is a brand new area that just opened up in March. I'm so excited to go in. There's brand new foods. There's a whole new roller coaster. Let's go. So this is Tumbili, it's the brand new roller coaster I was just telling you guys about, and it is a 4D spin. So that means that the car spins independently against the track. So you can like be upside down, you can be right side up, it doesn't matter, it's gonna freely spin. And depending on like how much you weigh, that means it'll spin more or less. It's also only 55 seconds, and I wanna say that that's probably the most thrilling 55 seconds of your life. This is the Chorizo Queso Burger from Jungle Market Eatery. This is one of the cheesiest burgers I've had in a really long time. That Chorizo Queso sauce that is on top, it's peppery, it has a nice flavor to it. It's kind of spicy, but not like over spicy. And then the burger is just super well cooked. The cheese sauce is what really makes it. The part that I like the best, come here. Let me show you, let me show you. So you see how my fries is just getting covered in all of this chorizo cheese sauce. I'm ready for the next adventure. I know we just had a burger, but I have to try the chicken over here. And I think they have a Nashville hot chicken that's worth a try. Come on, Chelsea. 
here it is. I heard she's a spicy, spicy girl. She's saucy. I love a good sauce chicken. I'm in danger. I'm gonna commit. It's very spicy. <laughs> there is a legitimate like tear in my eye. This is so spicy, but is it a five alarm fire? Yes. Oh, the Nashville hot does not play. So Nashville hot generally has a dry rub on it that is spicy and a Nashville hot sauce on it. It's two kicks of just, oh, just like the roller coaster. You know how like roller coaster, some of the roller coasters here have like a double launch, like they launch you and then they launch you again. That's what this Nashville hot chicken is doing. The dry rub is definitely giving you like one kick and then the hot sauce on top is giving you another kick. Can you eat spicy, Chelsea? I like spicy. Give me a fry with the sauce. No, you have to eat a piece of raw oh, tender. Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just, just like the butt. So that's how much she ate. Oh. It's, it's hot. Oh, the more I exhale, the more in danger I am. That's good. It does have a half-life though. So like once you think it gets as hot as it can get, it is gonna slow down a little bit. It is growing. It is, <laughs> like now I feel better than I felt when I first bit into it. So it does like, it's a it's a roller coaster of a, of a Nashville hot. You go all the way up, it cranks all the way up, and then it comes down and it's gonna be a hard going down, but <laughs> you'll get to the bottom eventually. <laughs> just went to Excavator Taters. This is full of pulled pork, cheese, jalapeno ranch, bacon, jalapenos, and green onions. I mean, all on top of some pretty thick taters. <laughs> How do I attack this? It's just, it's massive. Just go for it. The smoke level is on a thousand trillion. The potatoes are like a, the perfect cushion for all of these heavy toppings. If you get this, I think you should share this with the whole team, not the family, the team. So that means like you and a bunch of other families, like y'all go in together and like just share the joy of these loaded taters. <laughs> We've had so much savory. I'm ready for something sweet. Okay, we're getting cookie dough. So you can get a trio of all three flavors. I got chocolate chip, cake batter, and chocolate peanut butter brownie. I just want you guys to know that my Spanx are no longer working. <laughs> I have eaten so much food today. It's really, it's really not funny, but I do it all for you so you guys will know what to try when you come here. This is the chocolate peanut butter. It's delightful, full of chocolate flavor little pieces of peanut butter candies inside of it. Let's try the good old chocolate chip cookie dough next. Sweet, classic, slightly cold. Last one is birthday cake. I thought I was gonna say that chocolate chip cookie dough was the best, but the birthday cake is actually the best. It's my Ooh. favorite. I like the birthday cake. This was definitely the sweet treat I needed, but we're gonna end our day on Jungle Expedition's newest restaurant, The Outpost. Woo! Oh my gosh, everything looks so good! There's shrimp, there's chicken, there's prime rib, there's sausage. I don't, I don't even know where to start. I'm, I, got, I got really excited. <laughs> We have finally made it to the highly anticipated Outpost Cafe. This is their newest restaurant. We are gonna try the best of the best and we're starting with the Tambili Tropical Lager. It comes in this beautiful can. It is wonderfully themed to this new roller coaster. It is a 3D spin coaster, so you spin while you're falling. It's crazy. You get the souvenir glass as well. It, immediately smells like super tropical like citrusy but also like grapefruit peach all of the like sweet tropical flavors so let me taste it it's 
pineapple, peach, and passion fruit, and you get that right off the bat. It's super fruity, but also like flavorful, slightly sweet, not bitter at all. But with something like this, you're gonna need something savory. So let's try one of their savory dishes. We're gonna go ahead and try the prime rib. It comes with a horseradish sauce. It looks super creamy. You also get potatoes and a Peruvian fry bread with it. This is a big bite. This steak is full of warm North African style spices. So there's cumin, there's cinnamon. You can definitely taste the cinnamon, but I am excited to try this Peruvian fry bread. So it's salty, but it's slightly sweet as well. Think funnel cake, but with savory seasonings on it. So this meal is around $18.49. And it's a super good price for a prime rib. Okay, so this is the grilled sausage. It's made with lamb and beef. And it is also made with the Tambili Tropical Lager. They gave me a little bit of mustard, so I'm excited. That is surprisingly well balanced. The mustard adds to the flavor, like the vinegary flavor kind of cuts some of the richness of the sausage. You can definitely taste the Tambili Lager in it. It adds like a sweetness. It adds to the citrusy flavors. I also think if you get a bite of the mango salad that comes with it, it's really cool and refreshing for like a nice hot day. So out of the two of these, if you're looking for something super hearty with potatoes, I would go with the prime rib. But if you want something on the lighter side, I would go with the sausage. There's this great salad with it. And you get the bread with both. Okay, so we're gonna try this lemon square, but I would like to acknowledge, I have been at a theme park all day. And I normally do these shots in different places. We're not moving. We're gonna <laughs> stay here for the rest of the trip because you know at the end of your theme park tri trip, you are just, you're done. You wanna sit on a bench and hear the sights. You don't wanna leave, but you don't wanna move anymore. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna eat, we're gonna chill, and then we'll let them kick us out. <laughs> So this is a lemon box square. I love lemon squares in the summer. They're so refreshing and like it's that little bit of sweetness that you want. Let's try it. It has a lot of powdered sugar on top. This is exactly how you would think a lemon square would taste like just like your grandma used to make it. You can get a bite if you give me a bite. Cheers. Bite. So this one for me, this one for you. Oh. Cheers. Oh. Oh my God, it's delightful. You know what, Chelsea? We have had a very long and hard day <laughs> of trying all the foods and all the drinks for all the people here so they know what exactly is at King's Dominion. So I think you deserve a drink. <gasps> this is the Explorer's Elixir and we're ending our trip with this. Oh. oh. Okay, so it's a, it's a pickly pear margarita. I love it. Pickly pear is always like sweet and tart, kind of unlike anything you've ever had before. I think this is a perfect way to end our day here at King's Dominion. Me too. I have really, honestly, enjoyed this trip. I This is one of the most fun theme parks I've ever been to. It surprised me. This is my first time. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be really honest here. I'm a, a theme park, I'm a little bit of a theme park snob. But you guys know where I come from. I'm a Disney girl, I'm a Universal girl. And so coming to different states and trying their theme parks is a, a new new trail for me. But I have really enjoyed Kings of Me. They're doing some pretty impressive things over here. Woo! Woo! Cheers! Chelsea, the day is over for me, but it's not over for you. What? You're gonna get on that. But you're getting on it, right? Fine. Ah, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ladies ready? They're going on Tom Billy! Why am I so afraid? All right, I'll see you girls later, bye! Love you! And they were never heard of again. <laughs> How anxious are you? I'm very anxious. It's like, it, it really like, like I'm like, like a nervous peed, but I'm still very, very anxious. Are you considered a loose article? Yes. <laughs>